Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. The fans are prepared with their blankets and the heavy coats for this chilly matchup tonight between the Northwestern Wildcats and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. The college football season starting to wind down. Hopefully, this Big Ten matchup might be able to answer a few questions. Here come the Nittany Lions. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Northwestern has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think his presence on the field gives them a slight advantage. And Lee, I think that's going to be the difference in an extremely close game. You know me, I decided my pick a couple of days ago. I'm taking Northwestern. Bozeman fields it at the seven. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come on out of the field for the first time today. Today we get to see how this offense is led by their star quarterback. How do you guys see this one playing out? Hey, this kid is a heck of a football player. Regardless of the outcome, I think this kid is going to give him all he's got. Yeah, he is talented, all right, but so is the second one. He better not miss any passes today, but this defense is really going to hurt him. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down now, 14 to go. They line up in the shotgun. Aaron steps back to pass. Waits till the last moment. It's tipped. The Malone was the, the intended point. target on the play. That'll bring up third down. Third they line up at the 21. Ball it's third down. Yard. They come out with four wide out. He drops back. He steps up, looks, throws this one out to the left. And that one's incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out there looking for it. The putter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Howard is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Walker fields it at the 40. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. The offense will start at the 46. The Penn State Nittany Lions take over at the 46-yard line. First and 10. Walker on the give. Can't wrap him up. Pittman tackles him at the 48-yard line. Walker gains about two yards on the run. From their own 48-yard line on the 42nd and eight coming up here. Team has the ball now. Well, so they'll start this drive at midfield. First and ten. Northwestern comes out with five receivers. He's looking for his man. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. That'll make it second down. 
Second, Second down, 10 yards to go. A 48 yard line. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. They snap it to the back. Here he goes. He's pushed out of bounds at the 39-yard line. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First, first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Gun. Malone gets another handoff. Hawkins with the tackle at the 30-yard line. And the halfback picks up nine yards on the delay. From the 30-yard line, it's second and one. Northwestern comes to the line with three wide. Nice play fake. Comes across the middle. Finds his receiver. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. Ten yards and he's caught the foul. Good call. Yeah, he practically brought him to the ground there. Second it's second and nine. And nine. Ball, Ball on the 38. 38 yard line. Northwestern sets up with four receivers. Aaron with the draw play. Hand with a takedown at the 35. Malone gets three yards on the carry. Third now it's third and six, six coming up. Ball on the 35 yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Aaron drops back to pass. He's wrapped up for the sack. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. the snap. Plenty of hang time on this one. Calls for the fair catch. Nail down the punt at the seven. You know what drives me crazy? What's that thing? When players don't look for the ball on special teams. Too often the gunners don't locate the ball and let it go into the end zone. But this guy did a great job of getting downfield and downing the ball giving his defense good field position. Penn State lines up in a double tight set. Setting up play action. He gets rid of it. Hitman swats it away. That's pass. just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. Second, Second and 10. ten. Ball on the seven-yard line. Eugene with three wide receivers. Great tackle at the six. The defense just blew that one up in the backfield. Just nowhere to run on that play, Coach. The halfback had nowhere to go from the get-go. From third their own six-yard line. Ball third and 11 coming up here. They come out with three wide receivers. He's looking. Looking deep to the right. It's tipped. That close to being intercepted. Simmons was the intended receiver on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Fourth and 11. Penn State ready to punt this one away. Bozeman is back awaiting the punt. Number 85. Back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Bozeman takes it to the 45. 
The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they had to do the same here. Excellent field position to start the drive. We'll start the drive at the 42-yard line. The Nitchie Lion line up in a nickelback. They'll bring him down at the 37. A pickup of five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Northwestern lines up with three receivers. Aaron steps back to pass. He jukes. He'll take it himself. Brought down in the open field. Third, Third down, a yard to go. Yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. Play action. He throws it. And this one falls incomplete. This falls incomplete. Fourth and one. Northwestern lining up the punt. Howard is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Johnson calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession, going three and out. First and ten. They'll bring in their dime package. They'll give it off here. Fumble! Recovered by the defense. Good hustle there by the D lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit and he no, played to the run. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Northwestern comes out of the shotgun, lets it go, has it to the senior. And they make the stop at the 17. You got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still it's about the time they called him for holding. He's been holding on to jerseys all game. Scooter, these refs could probably call holding an extra play ball. if they wanted to. Ball. These ball. guys get away with yard. Ball. The Wildcats come out in the shotgun. Aaron looking to throw on first down. He delivers, and it's the senior. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. Second it's second and 15. 15. All 26 yard line. Six yard line. Northwestern lines up with three receivers. Aaron drops back, stepping up, lets it fly. It's complete. Tackle at the 20-yard line. About six yards on the play. Gain of six on the play. Here are the red zone stats so far this season. Well, if the roots are the 20, you better not go anywhere because somebody is about to score. The Wildcats come out in a bunch formation. Heron drops back, looks, throws it. He brings it down. Touchdown. What a display of pure speed. And anytime this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. And if I was going to play, I would say, go run past everybody and we'll throw it to you. He can fly. Right. 
They line up for the point after. He splits the uprights with the extra point. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding on the offense. Tim Marco for the deep control. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. Tim Marco for the deep control. So they're ready for the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. one away. Walker and Gray back deep to return and this one's away. Walker fields it at the three. Yuku. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow mo replay to recap it. They'll first down at the 22 yard line. First and ten. Penn State comes out with two tight ends. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. They line up at the 21. It's second down and 11 to go. Play fake. Throws it out there. Good open field tackle. How about that pass, fellas? No, oh, Brad. The defense was coming with a blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. They'll line up at the 35. First it's first 10. down. Ball on the 35-yard line. Eugene lines up in the shotgun. Missed tackle. Pittman with the tackle at the 37-yard line. Walker comes away with two yards on the carry. From their own 37-yard line. On the 37-yard line. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Walker Number takes it up the middle. With the, and the defense just swarmed Double over him on, on that play. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Third we and got eight. third and eight. Yeah. Eugene lines up with four wideouts. Yeah. Eugene steps back to pass. He sails it long. The ball is tipped. And he's brought down at the 24-yard line. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. Yeah, and a defensive coordinator will not be happy about giving up those kind of yards on third down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. 
Penn State lines up in a shotgun set. He throws. Complete. Brought down at the nine-yard line. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. They're inside the 20. First and goal. The Nittany Lions come to the line with their jumbo package. And they make the stop at the 7. The running back gets two on the carry. Seven From the seven-yard line, ball the second down. Line. The Nittany Lions set up in the gun. Goes to the end zone. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the White House. He saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. is lining up to kick this one off. Bozeman and number 24 back to return. Number 24 fields it at the 7. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping on the receiving team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on their own 12. Yeah. Northwestern yeah. comes to the line with three wide. Yeah. Malone gets the carry. Johnson brings him down at the 16. Malone picks up about four yards on the play. Second down and six. Ball on the 16-yard line. Malone lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Daniel with a takedown at the 16-yard line. No gain. They line up at the 16. It's third down. Defense is playing the pass on this one. Heron back to throw. Looking. Rolling out to the right side. He wants it all. It's deflected. And he's all the way down to the 24-yard line. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. First, First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. The Wildcats are lining up with three receivers. Here's the halfback. He jukes. Excellent open field tackle. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. And they have three bunched. Malone 
Takes a hand on it. Hawken tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 14. The Wildcats line up with three wide. Heron drops to throw. Across the middle. Touchdown, Northwestern. And it's good for six. Usually in this area, defenders are all punched up, and it's hard to find an open receiver. This quarterback did an outstanding job of reading the coverage. There's a flag down, and here's the call. Personal foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. 15 yard penalty will be reversed on the try. They'll line up for the extra point. And he adds the extra point. With under five minutes remaining in the first quarter of play, the score, Northwestern 14, Penn State 7. Decent kick. Walker fields it at the seven. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll this drive will start at 24, 24. First and 10. The defense comes out in the dime package. Barry brings him down for a loss. They line up at the 23. Second and 11 coming up. Penn State comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Dumps it, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Oh, man. Dropped passes just aren't acceptable. I don't care if you're getting hit or not. Hey, he'll shake it off. No big deal. Watch. They'll go to him again, and he'll come up with the catch. You know, he probably will, but there's still no excuse for the one who just dropped. From their own 23-yard line, third and 11. Penn State lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. He lets it go, finds his receiver. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert it third and long, it just makes them sick. It's first and ten. Ball of their own 47. Eugene to the air on first down. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. That'll make it second down. Second, second down and ten to go. On the 47 All right around midfield. The Nittany Lions set up in the gun. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Third line 
it up again on third down. Penn State comes out in the shotgun. Eugene drops back to pass. He's looking. Let's it fly. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 19-yard line. Did you see how fast that kid is? Barely. He was like a blur running past those defenders. That speed alone makes this guy a big-time receiver. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters most. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Look at the throw. He's looking for his man. Oh, great catch. What happened there, guys? Well, they were in man-to-man -man coverage on that play. I couldn't tell if the defender slipped or he just got beat on that play. No, he just got beat. It was a good catch for the first down. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Penn State will line up in a jumbo set here. Gives it off. Touchdown, Nifty Lions. The fullback bangs his way into the end zone there. We'll have a big fan of giving the fullback carries down there the goal line. He's so big. Who's going to stop him? And you're right. Good play calling there by the coaches. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive somewhere. Penn State to kick this one off. And this one's away. Bozeman fields it at the seven. What to look for in this drive to see how often the defense changes up its coverage. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. They'll go to work at the 26 yard line. Take over at the 26 yard line. First and 10. The Wildcats come out in the shotgun. Northwestern lines up in the shotgun set. Aaron set to go to the air. Makes a move. And now he's going to run. They line up at the 28. Second and eight coming up here. From the gun. Aaron steps back to pass. He throws right. It's complete. He's taken down at the 45. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. First it's 10. first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Northwestern lines up in a bunch formation. And the snap goes to the back. And brings him down at the 47-yard line. Malone comes away with two yards on the carry. So that'll make it second down. Second, Second down, three. eight yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Nittany Lions line up with six defensive backs. He decides to run with it. They'll bring him down at the 36. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. Second and long. Second and long. Ball on the 37-yard line. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. Aaron, back to pass. 
And now he's going to improvise. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Receivers lined up here. Heron drops back to pass. Heron fires. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Wheeler was the intended target, and that'll make it fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Walker is back to receive. He punts it. Calls for the fair catch. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll set up shop at the 19-yard line. Penn State comes out with an eye formation. And now he's going to run. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Just about three yards there. Second, Second down seven. and seven. Ball on the 22-yard line. Walker gets the ball. Coleman tackles him at the 27-yard line. Walker comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll make it third down. Third, Third down and two. two. Ball on the 27-yard line. They go with a toss. And down he goes at the 29. They convert the third down with that short run. the 29. It's first down. Eugene comes to the line with three wide. Coleman tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Loss of two by the halfback. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one and we're all tied up. Second, Second down, 12. about 12 yards Ball to go. On the 27-yard line. Yard line. Yeah. Penn State sets up in the eye. Yeah. Eugene with a nice play fake. He's going left. Got him on the run. The 50. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. And a great pass play that time. And here we see just how much this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. Penn State lines up with three receivers. It goes straight to the back. Tries to juke. He might have a chance. He's tackled at the 21 yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. First From the 21 yard line, ball on the 21 it's first yard down. Line. Penn State goes with the ace set here. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. Walker picks up about four yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters most. Eugene is back in the gun. Ah! 
Griffin with the tackle at the seven. It's first and goal. Ball on the seven. Eugene comes to the line with three wide. Wilson tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The Nittany Lions set up in the gun. Looks to pass. He looks. And he's hit as he throws. That close to being intercepted. The quarterback is going to think twice about throwing the football his way again. Yeah, safety couldn't hang on to the ball this time. But you can bet if he gets a chance again, this ball will be picked off. Third so the goal. offense will look to the ball end zone the here. Yard. Third and goal from the nine. Four wide. Back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. The ball is tipped. The defense holds. Great job to get a finger on that pass and cause the incompletion. They're going to go for the easy three here. The field goal attempt will be about a 26-yarder. Penn State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's through the upright. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Short kickoff. Number 24 takes it to 12. I don't know if you guys saw the coach gave his offense quite a speech on the return he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. They'll take over. They'll go to work. 24 yard line. First and 10. The Wildcats come out the shotgun. Look at the throw. Aaron. With a fumble. Defense says they've got it. And they do. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. And that is not what they had in mind. It was simply a bad play. Turnovers are bad on home, but when you add to the fact that it resulted in points for the opposition, uh-oh, that would kill you every time. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. And he hits the PAT. Over 13 minutes to go in the second quarter, and the score, Penn State 24, Northwestern 14. He sends it downfield. Bozeman fields it at the nine. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had something going, but were unable to get any points. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics, brought to you by Coke. Heron is back in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. The cavalry's coming. We've got a second and long. 
Malone. Malone back. He drops back. Comes across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Well, Way to keep your head on a swivel, point. kid. That was a nice job of locating the football the and knocking it down to prevent the completion. It sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. That'll make it third down. They line up at the 16. Third and long. The Nittany Lions bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. Heron throws. The ball is ticked. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Fourth and long. The runner comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Walker will be the return man. Howard punts it, and this is a wonderful kick. Walker fields it at the 40. He couldn't shake anybody. He needs to go work out those legs a little bit. Yeah, Coach, you're right. Pretty good return, but if he could have broken that last tackle, that might have been big. They'll start at the 45-yard line. Over at the 45-yard line. First and 10. They're lining up in the 5-2. Up the middle. A little shake and bake move. Got an opening. Brought down with only one man to beat. He really showed some good speed there. Okay, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. The Nittany Lions line up with three wide. He's got to throw it in a hurry. From the 37-yard line. Ball second and long. Yard line. Walker lines up at the single back. Throws. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. A gain of six. Third, Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Wildcats bring in their dive package. Looking, fires deep down the right side, and he's finally shoved out at the two-yard line. They get a nice gain there. Yeah, nice pass play. You know what, Kirk? I think that defense kind of underestimated the speed of that receiver that time. Yes, very good observation out of you, my friend. It's going to be interesting to see how they adjust here. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters most. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. He lets it go, and he gets the touchdown. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad is a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. They line up for the point after. And he adds the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Penn State to kick. Bozeman and number 24 sets a return. He kicks off. Number 24 fields it at the 13. 
Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced in on three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. The Wildcats are lining up with three receivers. First down, look at the throw. He lobs it left. He snags it. He's hit and taken down. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second From their ten. own 28 yard line. 28 yard it's line. second down. Northwestern sets up with four receivers. Aaron set to go to the air. He passes it, and this one falls and incomplete. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. Third it's third and ten. ten. All of the 28. The Wildcat come out the shotgun, steps up. Johnson makes the sack. That's what happens when the protection breaks down up front. Yeah, but coach, I think the quarterback has to release the ball quicker, or he's going to get pounded out there. Four and long. Northwestern ball ready to put this one away. Walker is back deep to return the punt. He gets it away. Walker fields it at the 38. So they beat this defense up through the air on their last drive. Let's see if they can replicate that performance this time around. Bill this drive will start at, at the 43-yard line. line. First and the ten. Nittany Lions come out showing three wide. They give to the tailback. Weddell brings him down for a loss. The defense really the put the clamps down on that run. Great, 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 great effort up front by that defense. Great. Second, Second down. 13. Ball on the 40-yard line. Penn State comes to the line with three wide. Coleman brings him down at the 42. A two-yard run by the halfback. For their own 42-yard line. On the 42-yard line. The Nittany Lions set up in the gun. He steps up, looks. Gene throws it out there. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 49. Doesn't get enough for the first down. Yeah, nice job of making a few yards, but they got to be disappointed they didn't make the first down. Fourth and four. The Nittany Lions are lining up to punt it away. Cronin is waiting for the snap. Number 85. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Calls for the fair catch. Yo, the defense really stepped up the force to three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. First and 10. Heron has four receivers lined up here. handoff and they make the stop at the 25 Malone comes away with two yards on the carry so that'll make it second down second it's second down and eight ball in the 25 25 yard line the Wildcat come out in the ace formation again he'll get the call couldn't get anything out of that Third, Third eight. down, eight Ball yards to go. 25 on yard. their own 25. 
The Wildcat set up in the gun. Look at the throw. There he goes. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. The Wildcats oh, are last to punt away. Howard awaits the snap. He punts it. Walker fields it at the 35. Down the sideline. To the 20. To the 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown. And just like that, it's six points. Wow, he looked like he was shot out of a cannon. Wow. Yeah, or a slingshot. It seemed like everybody else was going at one speed, and he was going at another. They'll line up for the extra point. And he converts the extra point. There's a flag on the play. Holding on the offense. They're setting up for the PAT. And he tacks on the extra point. is lining up to kick this one off. Decent kick. Bozeman takes from the 10. So the offense takes over. The last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. Northwestern lines up in the shotgun set. He'll dump it short. Got it to the senior. They fake the handoff and complete the pass. Good for six yards. They line up at the 33. And second down and four to go. The Wildcats come out in a bunch formation. It's the tailback. He jukes it. Daniel brings him down for a loss. Drop back a yard. Third and five. Ball on the 32. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Wildcats line up with four wideouts. Malone takes it right side. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be up for the count. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. Four to the five. They line up to pull this one away. 32-yard line. Walker already made him pay with a punt return earlier. He gets it off. Walker fields it at the 26. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll get the ball here at the 26. Penn State sets up in the eye. With the toss. Tackle made at the 29. Walker gets three yards on the play. Right. 
Second, second down. Ball on the 29-yard line. Brown tackles him for a loss on the play. That blitz was coming pretty hard that time, Kirk. There was just nowhere for the running back to go. Great penetration by this defense. They line up at the 27. Ball on the it's 27 third and nine. Line. Nickel defense. Play fake. Throws it. Got his man on the run. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Eugene with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Throws it out there, and he's hit immediately. That'll be a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. Second Hit second and eight. Ball on their own 48. With the tackle at the 49. Walker gains about a yard on the play. Third the defense seven. will try to stop Ball this third down. They were runs. unsuccessful the first time on this drive. On the goose, on the goose. Ah. Eugene drops back to pass. Eugene lets it go. It's deflected. That's good well, defensive play. play. Makes it fourth down. I'm sending out a big yo to the defensive ball. coordinator right there. I'm sure he appreciates that yo. Great job of mixing up the coverage and putting his players in a spot to make a play. And they're smart enough to know the situation and to just Four not shut it down. Ball on the Bozeman, back deep line. to return. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Calls for the fair catch. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last possession, Coach. And it was the defense that threw them out of sync, Kirk. Those guys are fired up. Let's see if they can hold them again. Start the drive. They'll take over the at the 21. First and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Across the middle. Complete. What a catch. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. And the quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. First, First down. Ten. Northwestern comes to the line with three wide. Aaron on play action. He unloads it. Got him on the run. And that tackle's going to save him six. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. First it's first and ten. ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. First down, look at the throw. Moves up in the pocket. And now he's going to run. And down he goes at the 35. Well, guys, he's scrambling around out there, and they're having a lot of trouble bringing him down. Hey, the secondary did their job in coverage, but they just couldn't contain the quarterback. That's no easy task either, Coach. This guy has some pretty good feet, as we saw on that play. First, first and 10. The Wildcats set up in the gun. Heron back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Heron lets it go. Ramirez was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it second down. Second, 
Second They'll line up at the 35. It's second down. Going with the shotgun here. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Fifth ball. Let's start on the offense. He just flinched. Brad, one of the most frustrating penalties is a false start because they are the easiest penalties to avoid. It just takes some focus. From the 40-yard line. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Drops back to pass. Look, he delivers. The true freshman has it. Couldn't get anything out of that. Third it's third down and 15 to go on the ball of the 40-yard line. Yard line. Northwestern in a five-wide set. Aaron drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Got it to him on the run. Now that's what you have to do on third and long. Yep. Right at him and hit him in the mouth. That's a great conversion to get the first down. Here are the offensive production stats, brought to you today by Coca-Cola. One man backfield. Come on, on the inside handoff. They sure shut down the halfback on that play. Boy, they were in the backfield in a hurry. The Packers had no space to run the football. It's second down and 12. Ball on the 44 yard line. Penn State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Let's it go. It falls incomplete. A little too high for the halfback. Third and 24 yard line. Third down. Heron is back in the gun, looks to pass. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. It's like a dream to have this kid on your defense. You're not kidding, Coach. That's his 10th sack of the season. He's been awesome this year. These quarterbacks need to wear thicker pads when he plays, because I tell you, they take some big shots when he's on the field. It looks like we're going to tackle a long field goal. This will be a 47-yard field goal attempt. The defense looking to make this crowd a factor. It has the distance. And he's got it. Pretty good kick right there, and it wasn't an easy one. They did everything right. It was a good snap, a good hold, and then a good kick. Western lines, lines up for the kickoff. Kick Walker and Graves deep to return. Decent kick. Graves takes it at the four. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. Brought to you by Coke. He throws it. Someone got a hand on it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So that'll make it second down. Second it's second down. down. Ball on the 24-yard line. From the gun, he drops back. Down the middle. Caught. 
Brought down at the 31-yard line. Short pass the there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with Nickel and Diamond up down the field. They line up at the 31. It's third down and three to go. Drops back to pass. Rifles it left. He snags it. He's tackled at the 37. Penn State will take their first time out of the half. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. The Nittany Lions line up with three wide. Going deep. He got it. To the 20. To the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. Another touchdown. Why not? This just goes to show you that there is more to playing defense than emotion. You can't continuously play out of position like this. You're going to find yourself in a lot of mismatches. And today, those mismatches have turned into touchdowns. And he converts the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. He kicks it off. Number 24 fields it at the seven. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca Cola. The Wildcat set up in the gun. He steps up. He passes it. Ball is tipped. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass, especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. They line up at the 24. Second and 10. Aaron has five receivers lined up here. Looks to pass. Feeling the pressure. That's incomplete. incomplete. They almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmate. Third and 10. From their own 24-yard line. It's third and 10. The Wildcats come out in a shotgun. The counter. And he's taken down at the 31. Penn State will take their second time out of the half. Fourth and three. The Wildcats line up the punt. Walker is back awaiting the punt. He gets it off. Walker takes it at the 32. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. The offense will start at the 38. They'll take over at the 38-yard line. First and 10. Northwestern lines up in a dime defense here. Back to pass. Stepping up, surveys the field, throws, catches it. Coleman with a takedown at the 39-yard line. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Our score, Penn State 45, Northwestern 17.
by Northwestern North is lining up to get their second half started. Start the second half. He sends it off. Graves takes it at the four. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll First start down. the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back. Over the middle. His receiver has it. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. From their own 34-yard line, first down. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were awesome. coming with the heavy blitz. The the guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. They line up at the 32. Ball on the Second down, yard about yard 12 line. yards to go. Walker, the lone back. A little misdirection. Brown with the tackle at the 48. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Nittany Lions come out showing three wide. Eugene back to throw. He steps up. Eugene passes. They can't connect. Incomplete. Campbell was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it second down. Second they line ten. up at the 48. It's second down. They're going to pitch it, and they'll get him in the backfield. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. Third and 14. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Nittany Lions set up in the gun. He looks. He chucks it downfield. And that one's incomplete. Well, Simmons was point. the intended target. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Fourth and 14. So they're set to punt this one away. Bozeman is back deep to return the punt. He punts it. 85. Back to return. Ball is loose, fumble, and the offense will recover. Coach, what can you do to avoid those turnovers? Well, you just got to get back to the fundamentals. For the skilled players, that means hanging on to the football. The threatening inside the 20. First and 10. The Nittany Lions come out in a shotgun. Wilson tackles him at the 13. Walker gains seven yards on that play. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters most. Looking, here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of six on the play. They line up at the 19. It's 39 to go. 
Penn State lines up with three receivers. Under heavy pressure. And they get the sack. That's a loss of about three. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick will be about a 39 or 40 yarder. This is to add to an already impressive lead. The kick is up, and it's right down the middle. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. it off. Number 24 has it at the five. Can't wrap him up. And now we'll see the offense coming out of the field for their next position. On the return. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. Northwestern comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They go with the run, and they make the stop at the 31-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Second, Second and nine. nine, ball on their own 31. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. Aaron, back to pass, surveys the field. He goes downtown. Incomplete pass. Incomplete. He talked about missing an open yeah, man. The defense got the real lucky there. Yeah, they did. Someone either blew an assignment or got beat because that guy was wide open. Third Here's nine. third and nine. Ball, ball, ball on the 31 yard line. Ball. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. Aaron drops back to pass. It falls incomplete. Bozeman was the intended receiver on that pass. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Fourth and nine. Northwestern ready to put this one away. Walker back to return, and he's already proven he can break these with a block or two. He gets it away. Walker reveals it at the 34. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense. And they'll huddle up for this drive. They'll go to work at the 38-yard line. They'll take over at the 38-yard line. First and 10. Sheds one tackler. Blue And he's tackled at the 44. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Flip it on the offense. 15 yard penalty. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. First, First and long. long. Ball, Ball on their own 28-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Got him on the run. He spins around. Brown brings him down at the 49-yard line. Oh, man, they had him good there. The defense was looking to run, and they threw it for a big game. The running back really sold the run well that time. That allowed for the quarterback to get the ball downfield for a decent game. From their own 49-yard line, first down. 
The Nittany Lions come out in a shotgun. Walker gets it on the inside. He's taken down at the 49. Walker gains about two yards on the run. That'll bring up second down. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 49. With the toss. Adam tackles him for a loss on the play. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. For their own 48-yard line. Ball on the 48-yard line. 11 here. Northwestern comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's looking for his man. His receiver has it. Kirk, what do you have? Well, as you can see, this guy has been a big playmaker all game long. In fact, with that last grab, he just went over 200 yards receiving. Four, it looks one. like they're going to go for it. Four four down. Two yard line. They're crowding the line. Hayden gets the call. Tackle at the 34. They pick up another first, guys. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First and ten. Ball on the 34. Penn first State ten. lines up in a shotgun Ball set. Ball on the 34-yard line. White yeah. three. Walker takes the give. Tackled for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Second They'll line up to 11. the 35. We've got a second and 11. White the Nittany three. Lions come out in the ace formation. Ah. Eugene steps back to pass. Tosses ah. short. He snags it. Out of bounds at the 20-yard line. That one worked pretty well. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. To create a good separation from the defense. Right. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters most. Yeah. Eugene is back in the gun. He's looking to pass. Looking, lets it fly. Oh, boy, almost the intercepted. Completely. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time player, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, the ball should have been picked off. Second, Second and ten. ten. Ball, ball on the 20-yard line. The defense lines up with six DB. Has some daylight. He's taken down at the nine-yard line. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. Second so it's second 14. and 14. Ball on the 24-yard Ball on the 24 yard yard line. line. Walker will run it again. Makes a move. Tackle made at the 22. Couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Third, Third and 12 going well. up on this one. Ball this on is the 10th play of this drive. Line. At the 23, the linebacker made a heads-up play to recover that fumble. Boy, I'll say he did. He knew right where to be. They'll, They'll set up shot at the 23-yard line. First and 10. Yeah. 
give to the tailback. And they make the stop at the 25. Malone picks up two yards with a carry. Second From their own 25-yard line. line. It's second down. Line. Heron lines up in the shotgun. Heron steps back to pass. He passes it, and they push him out at the 27. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. Third We've got a third and six. six. Aaron drops to throw. Somehow gets the ball away. That's incomplete. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect. He ran out the whole series for these guys. Fourth and six. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Walker back to receive. And you better believe this is the last guy they want to punt to. He gets it off. Walker fields at the 31. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 35-yard line. The Penn State Nittany Lions take over at the 35-yard line. First and 10. With the spin. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. Good execution on the counter, and that'll be a 10-yard gain. Second, Second and, and inches. inches. Ball on the, the 45-yard line. And everyone in the stadium knows who should get the ball in short yardage situations. They came with a blitz that time and got the field back for the loss. They line up at 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. Walker is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Throws this one out to the left. The ball is tipped. Well, the defense was tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Fourth and six. They line up to put this one away. The 39 yard line. Bozeman, the return man. Number 85, back to return. He punts it. Bozeman takes it to the 23. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. It's first and 10. Wildcats take over at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Ace backfield. Malone gets the ball left side. Daniel with a takedown at the 34-yard line. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Second We've got and second nine. and nine here. All on the 34-yard line. The Wildcats line up with five receivers. Dumps it, and he's taken down at the 38. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. They line up at the 38. Ball on the 38 yard line. Heron with three wide receivers. Option. He spins around, pitches back. And he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. 
And a big run on third down. Good job there by the offensive line, allowing the runner to get some good yardage. Lee, as you know, anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. Here are the offensive production stats, brought to you today by Coca-Cola. The Wildcats come out in a shotgun. And the snap goes to the back. They'll bring him down at the 44. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. Second, Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Wildcats line up with a single set back to you. Across the middle. This one is incomplete. He might have been looking to run and didn't secure the ball. Well, sometimes you see young players do this. This is something you have to work very hard to be able to overcome. They line up at the 44. Third and 10. Northwestern comes out with five receivers. Aaron, back to throw, looking, fumbles the ball. It's picked up. What a collision. A fumble here is the last thing they needed. Well, you know what they say, when it rains, it pours. And at this point, they're in a torrential downpour. Absolutely nothing has worked for them today. And they'll take over at midfield. We'll start the drive at the 50-yard line. First and 10. Eugene is back in the gun. Walker gets it on the draw. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. He might have gotten a yard at best. And second down and nine to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Penn State lines up in a shotgun set. Wood on the give. Weddle with the tackle at the 48-yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard on the delay to the fullback. Third, Third down. down. Ball on the 48-yard line. Northwestern lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back. He throws right. Oh, great catch. Adam brings him down at the 33-yard line. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. We've got a first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 33. Ball on the 33-yard line. Walker lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Eugene with a nice play fake. He throws. It falls Incomplete. incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Right. They line up 10. at the 33. On the 33 Second down and 10 to go. They're lining up in the 5-2. Walker will run it again. Pittman with the tackle at the 33. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Third so another third down, down upcoming for the, the offense. -yard line. The Nittany Lions with four receivers. Looks. Here's the long ball. Left side. Great play by the defender. Oh, yeah, he got his hand in there, broke up the pass. And that brings up fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Penn State sets up with four receivers. Here we go. Looking long down the left side. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defender. Now they'll 
trying to tack on the extra point. He splits the uprights for the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the third quarter, and the score, Penn State 55, Northwestern 17. Penn State gets set to kick this one away. Bozeman and number 24 back ready to return. Decent kick. Bozeman takes it at the four. So the offense comes out after their last drive. Had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. The Nittany Lions. Line up with six defensive backs. He looks to throw on first down. Aaron rifles it. Got it to his receiver. That was a laser cut. This guy has a huge arm. It's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. It's second and two. Ball on their own 30 yard. The Wildcats. Line up with five receivers. Heron lines up with five wide out. Heron, back to pass. He lets it go. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Four-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. First, first and 10. ten. Ball, Ball on their own 35. 35. Northwestern lines up in a bunch formation. Heron drops back to pass. Heron delivers. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. We got second and nine here. Ball on their own 36. Heron hasn't missed yet. Throws to the middle. Carr was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it third down. Third down. Four wide. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. Aaron drops back across the middle. And it's a true freshman. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Defense looked like it jumped early. Offside. Only And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. Third. They line up at the 41. It's third down. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. They run a counter. Excellent open field tackle. He'll be stopped just short of a first down. Ah, oh, so close yet so far away. I thought he had it. Four and two. They line up to put Ball this one away. Yard. Walker back to receive. And you better believe this is the last guy they want to punt to. Punts the ball away. Walker takes with the 14. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. A great play calling to help make that easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? The offense will start at the 16-yard line. From the gun. 
Gene hands it off straight ahead. At the 40, across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. They get in, touchdown. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. What an amazing run. How about the fact that not one player on the entire defense even touched it? Kirk, he's got 11 guys on the field, and he just blew by all of them. They'll line up for the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score. Penn State, 62. Northwestern, 17. Cronin looks ready to kick this one off. He sends it off. Number 24 takes it from the six. So the offense takes over. They'll try to figure out this defense in terms of the punt the last time they had the ball. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Northwestern comes out with three receivers bunch. Rolls to the right, looking. Somehow gets the ball away, and it's picked off. So it's intercepted by the corner after the air attack. And the corner came up with a pick, but he can thank his defensive line for that one. They got up into the quarterback's face, put the pressure, and made him get rid of the ball. The corner was there to make the pick. They'll, They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. line. First and 10. The Nittany Lions come out in a two-tight end set. Walker on a pitch out. They'll bring him down at the 23. Walker gets three yards on the carry. They line up at the 23. The second down and seven to go. From the gun. Eugene steps back to pass. He flings it, catches it. Manning with a takedown at the 18. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Hold it. On the offense. It's about time they called him for holding. He's been holding on the jerseys all game. Scooter, these refs could probably call holding on every play if they wanted to. These guys get away with a lot. From second the 33-yard line, ball it's second and long. the 33-yard line. line. Eugene with three wide receivers. Looking, going deep on the left side. He brings it down. Touchdown. And for that young man, it's touchdown catch number two. Hey, this guy's really stepped up for his football team today. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. Here's the try for the extra point. He makes the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it's off. Bozeman takes it at the four. 
They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some problems, but it ended with a punch. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. The Wildcats come out showing three wide. He's tackled in the open field. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, Penn State 69, Northwestern 17. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down and eight. Northwestern lines up with three receivers. Back to pass, throws. The senior makes the catch. So they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Third it's third down and four to go. Northwestern lines up in a bunch formation. Heron drops to throw. There he goes. Tackle made at the 36. How about that conversion? Let me tell you something. That defense got to be a little discouraged after that play. No question. You can see the guys are hanging their heads a little bit going back to the huddle after giving up a big play to the quarterback. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. Aaron back to pass. Has some daylight. And it's caught. Nolan with the tackle at the 50 yard line. Boy, does this kid have an arm? Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. First and We've got a first and 10. On the 50 right yard line. 50. Heron lines up with three receivers on his right. Throws it to the outside. Batted ball. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance, and getting in the way of that pass. So it's second and ten. Ball of the 50-yard line. The Wildcats line up with four wideouts. Looking to throw. He's going to take off. McMahon with a takedown at the 41-yard line. Third so another one. third down upcoming for the offense. They've got their man lined up in the backfield, but will they give it to him? Malone on the handoff. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. And the counter is good enough for the first. Yeah, the offensive line did a good job of selling that play on that one. And the halfback was aware of that first down line and got the conversion. First it's first ten. and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Heron is back in the gun. Through the left. Houston tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defense in front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. Second and 13. Ball on the 43-yard line. Three wideouts here. Drops back to pass. With the throw. Catches it. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Third so far this three. drive, the defense All has been unable to stop them on third down. From the gun. He jukes. Brought down at the 26.
The Wildcats line up with three wide. He looks to throw on first down. Looks. He unloads it. He snags it. McMahon brings him down at the 24. That'll be a two-yard gain. From the 24-yard line, second down, eight yards to go. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. They snap it to the back. Breaks one. Nolan tackles him at the 15. The chain gang is on the move once again. I'm looking for the defense to change things up here. They haven't been able to figure out this offense. And anything, Lee, whether it's a blitz, anything to change up coverage, one way or another, the defense has to make some adjustment. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. They line up at the 15. Second down, 10 yards to go. Heron, back to pass. He's rolling left. Heron slings it, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. And Coach, how about that touchdown? With that last touchdown throw, this quarterback now has managed to find the end zone three times today. Pretty decent number, if you ask me. They line up for the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Western lines up for the kickoff. Graves and Mack back deep to return. He kicks off. Mack from his own end zone. Well, I'll tell you guys, a passing game was sure on target during their last drive. And the quarterback had great protection by his offensive line. When he gets time, he could pick you apart. Here's the offensive production statistic, sponsored by Coca-Cola. With the game well in hand, they're going to get the other quarterbacks in playing time. Howard with a nice play fake. Across the middle. Adam with the tackle at the 44. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, it was man-to-man -man defense, and it looked like the receiver just beat the cover man for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. The Nittany Lions line up in an I formation. Powers hands it off, bounces off the would-be tackler. And he's tackled at the 46. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid run. First and 10, ball on the 46. the shotgun. He lets it go, and it's caught. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. A few yards that time on the pass. This is just a little pass and a halfback. Nothing spectacular, but it's plays like these that keep the defense off balance and drives alive. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. The Nittany Lions. Come out in a shotgun. Weddle 
Brings him down at the 28. They line up at the 28. It's second down and eight. Gets it on the inside. Chukwu. McCargo with the tackle at the 26. Crenshaw comes away with two yards on the carry. So that'll make it third down. They line up at the 26. It's third down and six to go. The Nittany Lions line up with three wide. Crenshaw on the delay. Cargo with a takedown at the 21-yard line. And they're still short of the first down. Heads up played by the defense. It was a passing situation, but they snuffed out the run, and they stopped them short. They almost had them, though, Coach. Oh, good play call here. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. This one is from 38 yards away. This is to add to an already impressive lead. He gets it up. And they tack on three points. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary. Decent kick. Bozeman fields it at the nine. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They played well all game. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Northwestern in a four-wide set. Aaron drops back to pass. It's complete. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. Second it's second six. down. Six yards to go. Ball on their own 32. Heron with three wide receivers. Heron. Back to throw. He'll take it himself. Houston with the tackle at the 34. Third, Third and four. Ball at 34. Northwestern lines up with three receivers. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. All sides, on the defense. The defense lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? First and We've got a first and ten. Looks to throw on first down. Heron lets it go. He catches another one. There's a player injured down on the field. I can't see who it is. He got a little banged up in the head on that play. First they line up at the 40. Ball on the first down. Yard line. Aaron is back in the gun. And the snap goes to the back. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Malone gains around eight yards on the run. That'll make it second down. They line up at the 32. All on the 32 yard line. They 
They come out in a five wide set. Heron drops to throw. He looks. He throws it. Incomplete pass. Wheeler was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third down. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Penn State lines up with five defensive backs. They'll run for the first on third and short. And they get enough for the first. What's interesting about that short run on third down is now, now they have the ability to go to play action pass and stretch out this defense. I was just going to say that, but don't be surprised first if they don't go. Ball Ball on the and go to the air right ball. now. The Wildcats come out in a shotgun. Looks under pressure. He's sacked at the 35 yard line. Fifteen, and this is the eighth play Second of the drive. Ball on the thirty-five yard line. Northwestern lines up in a shotgun set. Steps up in the pocket. Here they come. He heaves it deep. Batted ball. The safety comes up with a nice play. Nice job of the safety here, sitting back and playing center field, and then seeing the ball and coming up and simply batting the ball away. Third. They look good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. The Wildcat set up in the gun. Aaron drops back, moves up in the pocket, and he's hammered down. Number nine, they got to him again. We've seen it all today from the defense. Blitzing, covered sacks, blown assignments. This unit has been embarrassed by the defense here today. Will be the return man. He gets it off. Calls for the fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out on the field for their next possession. So they'll take over now in the shadow of their own goal post. The Wildcats. Line up in a nickel back. Gray on the run. And down he goes at the seven. Gray gets six yards on the play. Second it's second and four to go. Ball on, the ball on their own seven. The Nittany Lions line up in an eye formation. Powers lets it go. That was not an easy catch, but he made it look effortless, Coach. That's because it was effortless. Most kids can make that a tough catch, but this kid can make it in his sleep. Great play. First and ten. Ball on the 11. First and 10, ball on the 11-yard line. The Nittany Lions set up in the gun. He's rolling right. He throws it. And that one's incomplete. Crenshaw was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. So it's second and 10. Penn State comes out in the shotgun, surveys the field, powers, passes, knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. They get a good seven yards on that one. From their own 18-yard line, third and three. They'll try to get the first on the ground. Tackle made at the 23. 
And the run is good for the first. Yep, this is nothing new if you follow this team. They like to run the ball in these kind of situations. Terrific third down play call there. First and ten. He's tackled at the 30. Gray gains seven yards on that play. They line up at the 30. Ball it's second down at about three yards. Penn State lines up with three receivers. Power back to pass. Great tackle at the 24-yard line. Third They'll line it up again on third down. 24-yard line. Powers comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Steps up. Looking, and he's level at the 19-yard line. And that's his fifth sack of the year. He's really been playing very well, guys. The numbers say it all, Brad. He plays hard on every play, and he's been a menace to every quarterback he's played against. Yeah, as an offensive coordinator, you really have to factor this guy into your game plan. He is always around to mess things up. Four and, and they're ready to punt this one away. 19-yard line. Cronin awaits the snap. Puts the ball away. Bozeman takes it to 45. And before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 48-yard line. The Northwestern Wildcats take over at the 48-yard line. First and ten. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun. <laughs> Rollin brings him down for a loss. their own 46 yard line second, and second down ball on the 46 yard line Heron is back in the gun Heron delivers caught and Kirk that was a nice grab there you know it may be simple but whenever you can gain solid yardage you're doing something right It's third down. Ball on the 50-yard line. The Wildcats come out in a shotgun. Aaron drops back to pass. Looks. Aaron unloads. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. Wow. How about that third down? Convert? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. Penn State puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Throw short. That's incomplete. Wheeler was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. From the 33-yard line. Ball on the 33-yard line. Heron comes to the line with three wide. Heron hands it off, and the defense is on it. How do you lose that football, Coach? I'll tell you how he lost it. He looked like the halfback was carrying the ball like an antique base or something. You can't do that. you got to carry it like it's a football. The offense will take over at the 39. The Penn State Nittany Lions will start the drive at the 39-yard line. Penn State will line up in a jumbo set here. 
It's the tailback. He jukes. Sheds that one. And down he goes. At the 37. And remember one thing that this coach said. They will force it down this defense's throat until they prove that they can stop it. First it's first ten. down. Ball on the 37-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Crenshaw gets the call again. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Nine-yard pickup. Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters most. They're back in the red zone after fumbling on their last visit. Touchdown, Penn State! Come on, sweetheart, what are you doing? You don't have to rub it in like this. Yeah, coach, but then again, it is their job to stop this offense. I mean, they can't help if their plays are working so well. Well, if that's the case, then I hope they schedule these guys again, because there's nothing sweeter than getting revenge on a team that likes to run up the score. They'll line up for the extra point here. And he converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Sends it downfield. Wheeler takes from the 10. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Hopefully we'll see the offense move this ball up the field a little bit. Yeah, Coach, they really haven't had too much success today. But this is an opportunity for them to get their team back on track and build some confidence going into the next game. This drive will start at the 24-yard line. They finally bench their quarterback and the backup's in now. With the way the scoreboard looks, I suppose they thought, why not try a new quarterback? Let's it go. Finds the true freshman. And he's hammered down. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. You're right, Kirk. Those guys are swarming to where they think the ball is, then whoosh, the ball is flying over their heads. First of their own, 38-yard line. On the 38 First yard down. Line. The Wildcats line up with three receivers bunched. Wilson, the ball carrier. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here's the Coke players of the game. Northwestern comes out in the shotgun, looking to throw. With the throw, complete to the true freshman. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. 
third it's down. down. Ball on the 39 yard line. Bowman lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Rolls right. He'll dump it short. It's complete. And he's hammered down. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Four to five. The Wildcats line up the punt. Gray is back deep to return. Howard punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. Gray takes it to 12. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick. Hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll set up shot at the 15. First and 10. High formation here. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Pretty much going to do it. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Penn State played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2007. Our final score here today, Penn State 79, Northwestern 24. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.